Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna take a look at what it's like to launch a kayak, fish, and hit Honeymoon Island Dog Beach from the Dunedin Causeway. Stick around. If you find this video series helpful, like and subscribe as I plan to review every kayak fishing spot I can find. If you have a launch that you want to see before you go, please mention it in the comments. On this trip, we launched from the Dunedin Causeway, which leads to Honeymoon Island State Park. To help give you a sense of its location, the Causeway launch is about 40 minutes west of the Tampa International Airport off of Highway 586. It's worth noting that there is a designated area of the Causeway for launching motorized watercraft like jet skis, and another for launching non-motorized watercraft like kayaks. For our excursion, we chose a quick half mile paddle to the southern tip of Honeymoon Island, which has pretty much the nicest dog beach I've ever been to. More on that in a bit. The launch on the causeway is a narrow beach. It's very easy to launch your kayak from here, especially if you can get a spot on the water's edge. I recommend getting there as early as possible to grab one of these spots. It will make launching so much easier as the spots fill up and there are cars constantly looking for open parking spots later in the day, particularly on the weekends. There's also some smaller rocks on the beach right at the water's edge, so it's a good idea to wear water shoes when launching and to be mindful to avoid scuffing up your boat. In terms of fishing, there's a few areas between the launch and Honeymoon Island worth checking out. The first is a small causeway bridge. We caught three keeper sheep's head and one keeper mangrove snapper here. We were using live shrimp that we bought at the bait shop located right before the causeway. We had them rigged on 15 pounds of braid, 20 pound fluorocarbon leaders, and two aught circle hooks with just enough weight to get down to the bottom uh, despite the current. The trick is to get the bait as close to the bridge pilings without getting hung up. There was a fair bit of boat traffic uh, through this bridge but because it's a smaller bridge, boats were moving slowly and kicking up minimal wakes. Definitely not the most peaceful spot. In fact, at least during our visit, there was an incredible amount of boats, jet skis, and kayakers around. I recommend avoiding this area on weekends or just paddling all the way to Caladesi Island. We also fished the flats just west of the bridge and caught some spotted sea trout on live shrimp and artificials. I noticed someone catching trout from shore when we stopped to check out the dog beach. If you're planning to go to the dog beach, I suggest you paddle all the way to the inlet and beach your kayak in this small lagoon. We stopped here and while there was a trail to the dog beach, it would have been much nicer to have beached right where we wanted to be. Again, just keep an eye on the boat traffic. The inlet is really busy and I suggest hugging the shoreline to avoid the boats and jet skis. On the way back, we tried our luck at the mangroves, hoping to catch a redfish or snook, but we didn't make it happen. I imagine they would be there when the tide is up and there is less activity around. So to wrap it all up, the Dunedin Causeway is not the most centrally located spot in Tampa, but it's definitely worth checking out. It's really nice to be able to fish a bridge, try the flats, and then take a break at a dog beach all within a short paddle. It's a great spot if you want to kayak and fish with the family. Having said that, the boat and jet ski traffic is about as bad as it gets. I would love to see the difference during a weekday. I also really want to hit up Caladesi Island and see what I can catch over there. All in all, despite a few minor caveats, I would recommend this spot and look forward to heading back to explore new areas. Let me know in the comments what you think of this spot and be sure to like and subscribe for more kayak spot reviews.